Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at this week's pre orders, and they are live. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. All right, so we got the launch of the Adeptus Custodes and the Orcs as well. Going to take a quick look at everything here up for sale. Hopefully, you guys caught my video about the lack of supply. And if you're after one of those battle forces, you are here waiting and ready to check out. So let's take a look at what we got here and uh, we'll go ahead and jump right in. So just scrolling down here first, I just wanted to go down to the actual like uh, rare items and then we'll go back through everything else. Uh, so first off, we have the Adeptus Custodes Collector's Edition. Uh, so this is the new codex right here, Collector's Edition. These are extremely limited. It's 60 bucks for the normal codex. It's 100 bucks for the Collector's Edition. And these things always sell out extremely quickly. And then also we have the Orcs Collector's Edition Codex as well. Again, 100 bucks for that or 60 bucks for the regular edition. Either way, you're going to get the digital code and everything with it. You're just paying the extra 40 bucks for like the limited edition aspect, the cover, all that coolness. So if this is one of your like main factions or something like that, if you're after those rare collectibles, uh, these are always a nice snag. Uh, then moving on, we have the actual box sets. So first we had the Adeptus Custodes Battle Force. And obviously there's some shenanigans going on with games workshop here they basically suddenly restricted supply like worldwide on these box sets and then have like plenty available in the store so these are going to sell out relatively quickly just because a lot of people who thought they were getting them at a discount from their friendly local game store or thought they had them locked down suddenly will not and a lot of people are actually probably going to be disenfranchised by this as well because it does occur to me that some stores have not notified people that suddenly their stock is limited. So a lot of these places were expecting to get like five or 10 or even more of these box sets and have promised them to people. And then suddenly in the last couple of days, Games Workshop has been contacting stores and letting them know that they're only going to get like two or three of these. So if you're counting on like 10 and then suddenly you only get two or three, that means you're basically going to have 75% of the people you sold them to or promised them to not able to get what they thought they had locked down. So that's going to end up with a but so that's going to end up with a bunch of people that are disenfranchised. And we know in the past with these Battle Force box sets, they always sell out very quickly. They're extremely popular and Games Workshop does not reprint them. So if you're after the new Shield Captain right here, this is going to be the only way to get him for at least like the foreseeable future. He'll come out individually at some point in time. But if you do like this model, if you're after the Melta Spear, the early access to them this is going to be the only way to get him and then on top of that this is a really nice box set did a full breakdown of the value inside these box sets and they are phenomenal so if you were after any of these highly recommend that you grab one up as a matter of fact probably by the time you're watching this it will be too late all right and then moving on to the orcs battle force next the stompa boys and again we've got this brand new character not been released yet anywhere else and it'll probably be some time before he comes out individually but we got the new Big Mac, awesome model right here. Really nice box set. Contains a Stampa, a bunch of other good stuff, including a truck. Really good value. Hopefully you guys caught my breakdown video earlier this week, just breaking down the actual value compared to MSRP and just how great these battle forces are. Hopefully you saw the video I put out this morning about how these battle forces have been selling out extremely quickly and Games Workshop suddenly limited the supply on a lot of stores and a lot of those stores have not been contacting people to warn them or let them know. So hopefully you guys did. Hopefully my friends, viewers, community in the United States will still have an opportunity to grab up some of this stuff before it is too late. All right, so those are the four like extremely limited products that I do expect to sell out relatively quickly or like extremely fast. We'll see if by the end of the video they're still available or not. But we also have a bunch of other cool stuff coming out as well. Uh, but this will be like permanent additions to the range. So first we have the Combat Patrol Adeptus Custodes. So a very cool new box set right here, 160 bucks. Honestly, I think this is an upgrade from the previous Combat Patrol. Just because it doesn't have all those Sisters of Silence in it. And it's also got a dedicated character. So now you've got the Blade Champion. You've got five Wardens. You've got three of the Alaris Terminators. And then you've got five of the Custodian Guard. Really nice box set right here. About like 25% or so savings. So not the best deal in the world. But right in line with what you would expect from like the more recent Combat Patrols that have been coming out. But overall this is a really nice box. 14 miniatures in the set. All Custodies. Definitely a big fan of this. And then we also have the launch of the Combat Patrol Orcs, 160 bucks for that. You're going to get your Squig Hog Boys. You're going to get two units of the Beast Snagga Boys and then one Beast Boss on foot. So again, really good box right here. Definitely a big fan of the Beast Snagga Boys, the Squig Hog Boys, the overall aesthetic of these models. But definitely some mixed feelings from the community as far as like this is not your traditional Orcs box set. The removal of like the vehicles, the Def Dread, the Def Coptas, etc. 
Still a good box, not nearly as good of a deal. All brand new models. A lot of the multi-part stuff is gone and we went to more of like the either push fit or like mono pose stuff, which is cool. The models look great and everything like that. But realistically, there are definitely some like positives and negatives affiliated with this box set. And it's not nearly as good of a deal at about 25% savings. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. All right, and then moving on down, we've got the Adeptus Custodes dice set. 32 bucks for these bad boys, 16 dice in the set. We've got like the gold with the swirls and the red pips. So two bucks a die, you get 16 in the set here. Really cool, nice quality, but obviously you guys know the dice boycott continues. And then we've also got these really nice green orc dice right here. Again, we've got those sweet swirls, the white pips, and just some really quality, cool looking dice right here. 32 bucks for 16 dice. Definitely looking good. And again, same thing with those dice. If you guys are after those, they do tend to sell out relatively quickly. They should be part of the range. We should see them like available permanently going forward. But a lot of times the initial batch will sell out and it'll take some time to come back. So if you are after those, I wouldn't mess around. All right. And then we're into the Custodes data sheet cards, 35 bucks for those. The Codex itself, $60. If you're new to the hobby also, this is going to come with your digital code. So you have full access to the app and everything with purchase of the book. And then again, we've got the limited edition Custodes Collector's Edition Codex, which does also include the digital code. But that is a one-time offering and those do sell out relatively quickly. And then into the orcs, we got the data sheet cards, 35 bucks for those bad boys, the codex for 60 bucks, and then of course that collector's edition codex as well. So that is it for the like hard to get stuff, for the new stuff for the most part. We've got a little bit of Horus Heresy with the Bale Predator upgrade pack, 25 bucks for that. We've got the Armory of the Blood Angels, 36 bucks for those. And these are all in resin, and these are just Forge World upgrade packs. And then we've got a couple of the uh, books right here, some new ones, some old ones. If you're after any of those bad boys, we got the Big DACA Special Edition, 75 bucks for that. Signed and numbered, only 1,500 available. And then we're just into last week's sellouts. Uh, which that Nightmare debacle obviously sold out in minutes. But the real contrast we see between Nightmare is they had the queue system in place for Nightmare. There was almost no one in the queue system and then it still sold out relatively quickly. Really in like a couple of minutes actually, so very quickly. But the stores were able to get a hold of as many of these as they ordered in advance. As were with these battle forces, the stores requested what they wanted in advance and then Games Workshop came back last minute and told them that they were only going to get like two or three copies and now we see them available on the store. So in my opinion, it looks to me like Games Workshop has basically created a FOMO type situation, promised stores a bunch of copies of the new Battle Force boxes and then not delivered. So that's going to drive all the sales directly to Games Workshop. Which the big difference is those retail stores get a massive discount and then sell and make margin on top of that. But Games Workshop captures substantially less of that profit and then the store gets part of it as well. As where with when Games Workshop can drive the sales directly to their web store, they cut out the middleman and they make substantially more money. As a matter of fact, in most cases, Games Workshop goes from making about a 26% profit margin up to about a 75% profit margin. So realistically, what Games Workshop has done this week funneling all these sales to the store for these battle forces has essentially tripled their profit. So they probably would have made about $25 per box set selling them to a store. And now they're making about $75 per box set. So quite a substantial difference. So whether or not it's intentional, whether or not they're intentionally underproducing these box sets, or they're just producing a decent amount of them and then surprisingly not delivering them to stores so they can funnel those sales to themselves and sell direct to customers, regardless of the actual intent or malice, they do make about triple the profit on them. So definitely an incentive for Games Workshop to do this type of practice, regardless of whether or not that's what's going on. That's how it maps out. And then finally, we got a little bit of the gnome stuff. Obviously, it was very popular as we see the character, the Blood Bowl team, the pitch and dugout, and the dice all sold out. So just like I said, the gnomes are super cool. I definitely think they're awesome. I don't even play Blood Bowl, and I almost picked them up for like D&D conversions or to potentially start playing Blood Bowl. So it does not surprise me that they were super popular. 
So that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know what you're most excited about, what you're picking up, if you're able to get a hold of what you wanted, if that video I put out earlier today helped you out, or the breakdown video earlier in the week to show you what kind of value is in these box sets. Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. And as always, special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the channel. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man, and I hope you're able to snag what you wanted. I know I got mine, and I'm out of here.